In this video, I'll show you how to create a production-ready, fully managed MongoDB database on DigitalOcean in a matter of seconds. Here we have our managed databases. On the left side of your navigation, you can click databases and that's how we got here. Some of our big features are that you can use daily backups with point in time recovery so that if your database ever has anything go wrong with it, you can always revert to a specific point in time. Very helpful, very secure a logs and queries dashboard so that you always know what's happening in your database. Automated maintenance, this is something that none of us ever want to do ourselves, so this is great that it comes out of the box. Seamless vertical scaling and data encryption in transit and at rest. I'll go ahead and click create database cluster and let's make a MongoDB database. Here we are on the create database cluster page. I'll zoom in here. And we have a create database cluster. We'll choose our data center region. We'll click New York. And we want to keep this as close to our other resources as possible. Let's say you have a droplet in New York. You probably want to keep your database close to that so that the connection between the two is as fast as it can be. And notice that you can see which of your resources are in what region. Here in New York, I have a droplet and another database. I'll keep New York as my default. We'll choose a VPC network. And I'll choose my database engine. We have a couple to choose from. And notice that MongoDB is version 6, which is the latest version. I'll scroll down. You can get your database for $15 a month starting. So this is a great option if you want to start testing out your database. You can scale up later. Or if you know that you are going to a production database, you can go ahead and spin one up that you think is going to be great for your usage. You can add two standby nodes for zero downtime recovery. Now this is really cool because just by clicking this button here, we automatically have standby nodes that will replace the primary if something ever happens to it so that our data stays available to our users seamlessly. We'll scroll down, we'll choose a database cluster name. I'll just name this my cool database. Select a project, type in tags to organize your resources. And you have a total monthly cost of $45 a month, 15 for the primary, 30 for the two standby nodes. And just like that, we can spin up this database and start using it in our application. I'll go ahead and click create database cluster. And we are taken to our new database page. You can see that the database is creating here. There's a nice progress bar at the top. You can see information about your database, one gig RAM, one vCPU, 15 gigabytes disk, two standby nodes with a primary in New York City one. And we're rocking MongoDB six. We have some instructions for you to get started. We have provisioning usually completes within five minutes. So I'll go ahead and click get started here. We can restrict inbound connections, which is a great security feature. You don't want your database to be open publicly to any network access. I'll go ahead and restrict this to just my local computer so that I can connect and develop with my database. And just like that, we have the option to add our current computer's IP. And then you can also restrict to your other applications or resources in your DigitalOcean dashboards. So you can say only your other droplets can connect to this database. I'll allow only these inbound sources for now. And automatically we're given our connection details here. You can click show, see your password. And just by using these connection details, you can connect to your brand new database. You can add this to any application, your node application, or if you want to use a database tool like MongoDB Compass, you can use the connection string here. And I can just copy this whole connection string and use it in MongoDB Compass, which we'll do in a second once we're done spinning up. Some other stuff I want to show you is that we can click continue here. You can migrate an existing database. So if you have a Mongo database outside of this, you can migrate into this new database that you just created. And your first backup is already underway. All right, I'm done here. And here is your dashboard for your database. You have your VPC, your trusted sources, your total cost for the month, and your connection details. Now that we have our database spun up, I can go ahead and click into Insights. And we can see our CPU usage, load, memory, and disk usage over time. 
This helps us monitor how our database is doing and what our usage for our application looks like. We can also go to logs and see whatever queries are happening to our database. You can use users and databases to add a new user to your database. You can even create new databases. And under settings, we have the ability to update our cluster configuration. So that means you can upgrade as you need to and then update your pricing. You can see that new updates are automatically applied every Tuesday from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. You can also edit this to be a specific time that you want, probably when there are fewer users on your application. All right, now that we have all that out of the way, let's go ahead and grab our connection string. I'm gonna show the password here and we'll copy all this. I'm gonna jump over to MongoDB Compass and now that I have the connection string, I can just drop it in right here and click connect. And now we can see any queries that were saved, any databases that are in our application. We have the admin one. We can create more here and we can even click into it, see our collections, create a new collection, everything you'd expect from a MongoDB database. And now that I've done a little bit of stuff in here, you could import some sample data. Either way, you now have the connection string to add this to your applications and start working. You can even go back to your database, go into logs, and see anything that has been happening since. And that's a wrap for creating a MongoDB database on DigitalOcean. Thanks for watching.